U.S. Supreme Court has spoken, the justices voting 6-2 to two yesterday in their decision upholding Michigan's affirmative action ban at its state universities. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, Ruth Bader Ginsburg voting against the ban, and for the first time Sotomayor read a dissent from the bench. The decision getting mixed reaction across the country. Just to show minority enrollment dropped sharply in states that have banned mixed race admissions in Michigan State when affirmative action was still in place. 10% of the students were African American after the ban. That number dropped to 5%. Five other states already have similar laws in place, and there is talk that the focus instead of on race may now shift to income levels instead. Is this, is this a positive step forward? Is this a negative step for, for where we are in the country, especially when it comes to race? One, two, three, go. <laughs> how did no, you know? We're on different uh, sides. How did you know? We're no, on different sides. Counselor, I, ad I adhere to my Republican <laughs> colleague. All right, somebody well, start. Well, we're bottom line is this. I think this is a step forward. I think Why? that I think any kind of discrimination is atrocious. doesn't belong. It's not part of society. It, should, it, it unfortunately is part at times, but it shouldn't be. It, it, using the numbers you just had there, 5% of the applicants now our minorities was of the accepted applicants it was 10. What about the five that are not getting there now? Does that mean that when they went around campus and went places people said oh they're only there because they didn't qualify and that's a terrible stigma to have to carry too. Okay. Therefore okay. let's make sure everybody okay. in the room and there okay. belongs. Okay. That's okay. the way I look at it. Okay. Tom okay. All right. Who says they're not qualified? Well, I'm, I'm saying my 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 uh, understanding of this is what the way I perceive it is two equally qualified candidates and then you may give a little advantage to the person of color. Why? No, no, no. I, but what I'm They're just saying. They're discriminated against somebody okay, who's not I, I, I'm just saying that's, that's my understanding. <clears throat> so, okay, so we go from 10%, is it just black males there or, was or a, blacks? It's just as black. There was okay, a okay wait, 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 wait. We go from 10% down to five, right? So I want to make sure I got this right. Unequal at birth, unequal throughout schooling, and then when you get to college, we're now going to drop 50% of the amount of kids in that one particular school. What we're school. saying is there's no quota. What we're saying is it's not like there's a slot that says 10% from this community, 10% from that community, 20 from here, because that's what reflects society. Education does not specifically reflect but society but before across we did that. the norm. It's a question of, I can't get to Harvard tomorrow. But before why, we, why should there be a qualification? But, if I was if I was in a segment of one of these groups and I applied to a, an institution, you're saying that I should get in automatically because I qualified because of one of those but groups. But before those quotas were in place, there were schools that were taking zero. And when right? was that? And, 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 when, when, and when that's was the that? other point, Obi. That's the other point. If there's not some system in place, guess what? Kids of color are not going to get in. That's what history has shown us. Maybe if we had more charter schools, there'd be better opportunities for them to I get in. I agree oh, with you. I agree with you. We need to work with you. as a society I agree with to you. level but the you opportunity. Know what? But the answer, and this is something that's very sensitive to me, because if not for programs like that, sure. I wouldn't be sitting here at this table. But maybe the answer is if it's done by income. The State University of New York uh, uh, trying to avoid this type of situation. They have a program what I went to school on called Education Opportunity Program where it's black, Latinos, and whites, but it's done by income, by income. I just, the Supreme Court has this ruling on affirmative action. There was a Texas ruling on a uh, Supreme Court case on affirmative action, the Voting Rights Act. Do you think this Supreme Court thinks that race and racism is not an issue anymore? I think what they're trying to get to is the point that the country as a whole should be much more colorblind. And if you look at it, I think there was eight justices this, in this decision from Michigan. Uh, one of them recused themselves. In those eight, there was, I think, four or five opinions. Literally, there was the two, and then there was other points that they came back together on, on where this issue was. So the court was this, decided where to go on this, but very divided on why to get there. Dominic, do you think this court has a has a sense or is it approaching things like race no big deal anymore I don't know I mean it's a Republican or a conservative uh, slight to the court uh, I mean you know if you listen to my friends on the other side let's just build more jails you know that's what we do the the 50 percent drop in Michigan with the black kids that are now not going to college, let's just build some more jails Whoa. and let's just put them all oh, in yeah, jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten seconds. Let's just ten, put them all in jail. Seconds, Discrimination you. is wrong. You and I both agree on yes, that. Yes, we agree on that. Okay? We do. And everybody should be able to excel 
where they can get themselves without having somebody say, hey, you're getting in just because you are part of But you and keep saying that's, just because. It's not just because. Equal. Equal. I gotta, I gotta take a break. Up next, the NYPD is tormented on Twitter. The department catching some heat after one of its PR campaigns backfires. Why people are using social media to slam the department next. Quotas are not equal.